Hey everybody, Andrew here. Wanted to make a quick video about a product I'm pretty excited about. I like to camp, I like to cook, I like to eat, I like to grill. So I think that there's no better way to cook a steak, a burger, hot dogs, chicken than on charcoal. You get great flavor, great taste, you can control the temperature really well. And before this product, you had to lug around this chimney starter or you would make a pyramid in your grill. Uh, this is a Weber chimney starter. It's worked really well for me in the, few, in the past and I feel it's a great product. It's just really big. My sedan is right there and that's what I would take camping. And I was limited on space considering all the other stuff that I had to bring. And this just took up a lot of space. This is what I would take to grill, which is the Smoky Joe. Uh, it's a great little grill for camping. Now, starting your charcoal in a pyramid, it's tough if you don't use lighter fluid or insta start. But I don't like that because I don't like that gasoline uh, accelerant type stuff to be on my food. So I use one of the little cubes that light and it ignites charcoal really well, it burns for a couple minutes, it ignites charcoal, and then it lets it rise up. But these things are big. Now I'm bringing this anyway, so I could do it that way. But to get a really good, consistent burn, you would want to use a chimney. But this thing is huge. It doesn't fit in the grill. So I was really excited when I saw that Camp Made made a folding portable charcoal chimney starter. And it folds up flat, relatively flat. I got this, I saw it on Kickstarter, and I knew I had to have it. So it's flat, it's flat, handle locks into place, and it opens up, it's got a little uh, shelf that you flip down, and then you have a chimney starter. Here's a closer up view of the two next to one another. You can tell the, the difference in the size. I have 40 briquettes in the Weber, which is what the capacity is for the camp made. And now the Weber is made for, you know, you could probably get it about maybe double that, maybe a little bit more in there. And that's great for a home charcoal grill that's 22 inches in diameter where you're going to have a bigger surface. You might do more slow cooking whatnot so this is great for home but when you're camping and you're limited on size you might want to use something like this the camp made I'm gonna put 40 in there and we'll see how it fills up so here is the camp made charcoal chimney filled with 40 now <clears throat> you might be able to get a couple more in there if you really fill it neatly and strategically place all the briquettes but 40 is probably going to be your max and you know what that's that's probably enough that, that's a good amount but like I said when you see the difference in amount capacity the Weber is going to win hands down but this isn't meant for home this is meant for camping Now, I want to do a burn test with them next to one another, but unfortunately my, my stupid HOA here doesn't allow you to grill uh, except by the pool where they have a, a barbecue, which it's really stupid. Uh, uh, I'm probably going to have to go across the street to the park and I want to do a burn test to see how well, which one gets ignited better. This one's a little wider. This one's more concise, so there might be there might be more airflow in here. There might not because these are tighter, more tightly packed. So um, they each have space underneath. This one can fit about my whole fist, and that's how much space is underneath to get your fire to. And then it's got air holes to create an updraft, which is exactly what a chimney does. Now this one can fit more than my fist. Block my, unblock my head. This one fits more than my fist, um, but the fire—you know—it doesn't really. Might not make a difference if 
your lighting one cube underneath. Like if you're gonna light one cube underneath, it might it might be better for getting it going initially. But I've used this numerous times, and when it gets going, it is it is nice. So the next thing we're gonna see is a little burn test. And I'm back. I walked across the street to the uh, park. I've got barbecues here that I can use no problem. I'm going to have to deal with some sound. We've got the highway behind and then the road over here. The microphone's about six feet away from me, but uh, it should be okay. So I've got the 40 briquettes in the camp main and then the 40 briquettes in the uh, Weber. I uh, have two of the lighter cubes that I was saying. So that's all I'm going to use. And uh, we're going to see to see how they how they come out so that one's lit and that one's lit got I don't know if you can see that very well but it is a timer and we're gonna start it it is pretty windy, but initially I can tell that I should turn that around so you can see that the Weber's got a nice fire going. The, um, the campmate's really smoking really well, really quickly. So uh, the campmate is uh, smoking up really well. Um, just, just a comparison, the, the campmate is smoking pretty nicely compared to the Weber. I don't know if that has to deal with it being so closely together, but um, we'll check back in a little bit. Here we are at the eight and a half minute mark. Um, <clears throat> both, both of the lighter cubes have uh, burned out and just from first glance, the Weber is done smoking. So um, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and we're going to walk over. So the Weber has stopped smoking, whereas the, uh, the Campmate still is smoking. Now I don't know if that has anything to do with the Weber has been used many times you can see and then the camp made this is its first burn I don't know if that has anything to do with it but you can see how the I don't want to put the camera too far over it because it is this is hot and you can see how they're starting to turn white now I could see a little bit of white forming on some of some of the uh, briquettes in the camp made. Um, I don't know if it's because they're tightly packed in there to get 40 going, or if maybe the flame, because the that basket I showed you is right at this level right here. And that's a good, you know, when I did the Weber, I was able to get my fist all the way on, about to my uh, watch strap in there and this one was just my fist. So it is a shorter distance for the camp made for a fire. But I don't know what if it has to do with it. Plus this one, this ledge is flat. Whereas the the Weber is, it's uh, kind of like a cone shape. So you have lower briquettes on the outside and then they slope up to the middle. Um, so we'll see. But you can see how that burn for the campmate is getting bigger, the discoloration on the on the metal. So uh, we're gonna keep watching and we'll see. So we're at about the 22 minute mark and I can tell you that the coals on the Weber have been ready for a few minutes now. They're completely ashed over and I would have put them on the on the grill a while ago. The camp made is now 
just reached the top, the ashing over. So I would probably give these about five more minutes until they are completely ashed over before I would probably throw them on the grill. So we're, <coughs> so we're at the 27 and a half mark. Um, these have the briquettes and the camp made have really, they're, they're about ready to go on the grill now. Um, the Weber ones are disintegrating. They're, they're just about done. So in the long run, if you're at home, this is a phenomenal option. Uh, this really gets, you can get about 80 briquettes in there probably. You can have a really nice fire, uh, nice heated set of briquettes pretty quickly. About the 15 minute mark, they were ready to go on the grill. Uh, this took a little bit longer, but in terms of portability and packing down, this wins hands down. Uh, I have, would not hesitate at all to bring this on my next camping trip to avoid having to carry this big, big thing with me. Um, just another note about the handle. The handle, both handles are hot. I would say that this handle is a little bit warmer than this handle, but this handle is um, you know, two inches from the main compartment, whereas this one's probably about four. Um, you probably want to use gloves with either one, but uh, yeah, you can get that on the CampMade website. It's definitely going to find its way into my camping gear. Uh, on another note, uh, when it folds flat, they advertise it as being able to fit into a 12-inch Dutch oven. So if you are Dutch oven cooking, you know, you don't need a lot of coals. You're going to have, you know, 12 or 15 on top and 8 or 9 on the bottom. And then this is going to be perfect. You can put your briquettes on the t in and around, like on the bottom and on the top, and then you'll still have a few left in there where you can put your next set of briquettes in there and get them going. So by the time you need more, you should have some new briquettes ready to go. But again, this is great the Weber, and it's, it's going to be great for a long time, but this is gonna be great for camping. It's gonna be great in terms of just being able to bring a nice chimney and not having to take up a lot of space if space is your issue. So uh, I'm gonna sign off here. Um, check out the Camp Made website, check out the Weber website, if you like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll see you later.